Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be in the Fractal ecosystem for the Axe FX3, FM9, and FM3. And we're going to take a look at the multi-tap delay block to see how we can create an expansive rhythmic delay sound, just like the Edge from YouTube. Let's take a look. All right, so here we are in Axe Edit. I am using the Matchbox D30 amp model in here, going through the 212 Matchbox 160 and 57 IRs, pan hard left and right. I've got the bass turned down a bit, treble turned up a bit, and a little bit of high cut in there as well to give me this sound. I've also got a little splash of some spring reverb, but the name of the game today is gonna to be the multi-tap delay. Here's why I'm using the multi-tap delay for this. When I was researching how the Edge got this sound, I came across a number of articles that had a diagram that stated he was using two AC30 amplifiers, each with their own TC Electronic 2290 with actually different uh, delay times in them. We'll talk more about that here in a sec. But because the amplifiers were positioned so close to one another, there was crosstalk in the microphones going between the amplifiers, which led to this really big expansive sound. So I'm gonna recreate that here in the multi-tap delay block. Now the edge of YouTube pretty famously pioneered this idea of rhythmic delay to you know use these effects to get him to sound like he's playing a lot more than he actually is. Now whenever we say rhythmic delay, usually what we mean is a dotted eighth rhythm. So here I have the multi-tap delay block called up and right now I'm just gonna show you my settings. My tempo is at about 120, that's pretty standard. And I'm gonna engage the dotted eighth delay. Now that's typically what we all think of when we think of rhythmic delay. A couple of pointers for this, you don't want that many delay repeats. You want, you know, one to two pretty audible ones. So really there's like one more behind that tone uh, and then a little bit of diffusion on the back end, which is gonna be fine for this. And notice that first repeat is almost as loud as my guitar. That's what creates the illusion that there's more guitar stuff happening. Right, so there's that sound that we all know and love. But there's a lot more going on as I mentioned earlier. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is address this crosstalk between the two amplifiers. So down here in the second delay of the multi-tap delay, I'm dialing in about 10 milliseconds of delay time and I'm just panning that hard to one side. My pan of the dotted eighth delay was right in the center. I like to keep that dotted eighth rhythmic delay in the center because it sounds like it's still the guitar signal. It's, it's doing that whole illusion thing really well. If you pan that hard left or right either way, um, you get the delay effect, but it doesn't sound like it's coming in on the original guitar signal, which is kind of what I want with this sort of thing. When I engage the 10 millisecond delay just on the right side, we get this. which creates a little added stereo width, which is great. We want to sound huge and massive with this thing. You can use this level knob to dial that into taste. I might bring that down to somewhere around 75% so it's not super chorusy. It's just adding a little bit of stereo interest. Now the real magic is going to happen on the other page, delays three and four. Now the delay times that the Edge had dialed into each of his uh, TC electronic units going into each of the Vox amplifiers was a dotted eighth delay on one side panned hard to whatever side that was, hard left. On the other side, it was actually dialed into like a 9 30 second delay, which is one 30 second note slower than a quarter note, which means that it's not gonna line up with your pick strokes. Like in this case, we're just picking eighth notes. And that helps to create this illusion again of stereo width. Now, what I did here in the multi-tap delay, cause I've got another delay available. I actually put in a quarter note hard pan to the left 
and then this 932nd note panned hard to the right. Now, let's just listen to these full on so you can kind of hear what they're doing. What they're gonna do is take my signal that's going right down the center, which is the dotted eighth, the strong rhythmic pulsing delay, and then it's gonna throw it out to the sides on the back half. So it started in the center and then it threw it out to the side, which creates a bigger delay sound, right? So here's that little riff again. Here's uh, where the streets. Now, that's getting a little bit uh, busy, right? So I'm actually gonna dial in these two parameters, the level control on each of the delays three and four, back to about 50%. That way you get the stereo width effect without it being too busy and we're still hearing that dotted eighth delay pulse right down the center. So here's just a little chord hit. So you can hear we got the dotted eighth right down the center, and then the other one's throwing our sound out to the side, which is good. Creates a really big sound. Here's uh, the ripoff from U2. If we want a little bit more chorusing, we can bring up the level of the second delay with the short millisecond delay time. And here it is full bore. Or we can dial it back to taste. However you want, how much chorus you want in there. Now over here on channel B, I've also dialed in something else that I think works pretty well. What I've got going on is a dotted eighth delay on delays one and two, panned 50% left and right, and then I've got two quarter note delays panned hard left and right on delays three and four, mixed in a bit for that stereo width, and I've actually got a little bit of chorus taking care of this crosstalk sound. So it's chorusing the dotted eighth delays just a little bit. And I think it sounds a little bit cleaner this way. You might find that this works for uh, certain songs a little better than the other one. So a little bit shorter, a little more of that chorus warble in there. Uh, I've used this on a number of things and I think that sounds nice. But if you wanna be a little more of a purist, then this is about as close as I've come here in uh, channel A where I've done the dotted eighth right down the center, a little bit of warble on the side, and then the quarter note and the 930 seconds note panned hard left and right. Let me know if you guys found that helpful for dialing in this sound. And if you have any other ways of getting this sound, let me know what they are in the comments below. If you like stuff like this, hit those buttons. You know where they are. My name is Matthew Dale, and I will see you all on the next one. Peace out.